managing the third stage of labor. After the birth of the baby, the placenta separates from the uterus and moves down the birth canal. It should be born within an hour after birth. The uterus then contracts to stop the bleeding. This is the third stage of labor. Any mother is at risk for heavy bleeding after birth. International guidelines advise to give medicine that contracts the uterus after every birth. This is the single most important action you can take to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. This video will show you how to use the medicine and manage the delivery of the placenta. Oxytocin is the most effective medicine to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. The dose is 10 international units. Be prepared. Draw it up before the delivery. Oxytocin should be stored in a cool environment to stay effective. If it's not possible to give oxytocin, you can use misoprostol. The dose is 600 micrograms. It's given by mouth and there is no need to keep it cool. This makes it a good choice for community-based birth attendants. These medicines are given after the baby is safely born. They cause the uterus to contract, so first check the mother's abdomen to be sure there's not a second baby in the uterus. Then explain that you need to give her an injection that will help prevent her from bleeding. Give it by the intramuscular route in the mother's thigh muscle. There is no hurry to cutting the cord. Wait at least until it has stopped pulsating several minutes after birth. This gives the baby his full iron stores and prevents anemia. Tie or clamp the cord securely and then cut the cord with sterile scissors or a new blade. Do not put anything on the cord stump unless advised by your country's policy. Leave it open to air. Now, turn your attention to the delivery of the placenta. Notice signs that it has separated. You may see a gush of blood, the cord lengthening, or feel the firm round uterus in the lower abdomen. You may also notice the membranes or placenta there at the vagina. Usually, with a push from the mother, the placenta will deliver naturally with very little blood loss. Sometimes, it delivers spontaneously. If the placenta is slow to come, you can try pressing down above the pubic bone. If the cord retracts, the placenta is likely to still be attached. You can also follow the cord up with your gloved hand to feel if the placenta is in the vagina. Ask the mother to try to urinate in case a full bladder is delaying the placenta. Then ask her to get in an upright position and bear down or cough. <coughs> if her efforts are not successful and you are trained in the procedure, try careful cord traction. Here's how. 
clamp the umbilical cord or wrap the cord around your fingers close to the perineum. Place your hand just above the mother's pubic bone to hold the uterus back. Apply steady tension on the cord, always guarding the uterus with your other hand. Pulling on the cord can be dangerous. To prevent the uterus from turning inside out, always guard it with one hand and never pull hard on the cord. As the placenta is delivered, catch it in both hands and turn it until the membranes are twisted into a rope. This will help the membranes to separate without tearing them. Then, slowly pull to guide them out of the vagina. If the placenta hasn't delivered in one hour, the woman should be evaluated for a retained placenta. After the placenta is delivered, check that the uterus is hard and contracted. There should be minimal bleeding from the vagina. Rub the uterus if it feels soft or if there is heavy bleeding. Examine the placenta to make sure it is complete and none has been left inside the uterus. Now check for tears. Using good light, gently separate the labia and inspect the perineum and lower vagina for tears. Suture if needed. Then gently cleanse the area and apply a clean pad. Check the mother every 15 minutes for the first hour and every half hour thereafter. Take her blood pressure, pulse, and temperature. Feel her uterus for firmness and check for bleeding. You can teach the mother how to check her uterus and rub it to keep it firm. Her baby suckling also helps the uterus contract. Remember, just after the birth, check for a second baby and then give IM oxytocin to prevent postpartum blood loss. Delay cutting the cord. Most often, the placenta will deliver naturally with little blood loss.